An even easier way, instead of individually typing out the codes into the map file, is to go back into the file IO, map files, create edit. And this will bring up a, a blank map file. And like before, instead of typing, there's a thing if you left click and then right click in the top left panel and go down the populate basic map file, this will populate the current codes already in a view in your 12D project. Again, we're gonna choose the view our data's on and that is view number one. You could also have a maximum name length. So if you're using the RMS, the main roads in New South Wales, MX codes, they're limited to four characters. In this case, we've got no limitations, so I'm gonna leave that blank. So once you've set the view your data's in, and if you now left click on populate and finish, this automatically fills out all the codes the surveyor has used in this project. Now, once you've got all the codes in there, we now have to do the hard bit and just go through and edit whatever model we want the PM to go into. So you might have it in a You might have it in a survey control model. And then you can just go through and you can change the color. Browse, and then give it, you can give it a new color. And you can check, you could change it to a line if you wanted to. You could give it a weight and you could fill a comment out. So you would, you would go through one by one and fix this map file up. Just remember once you're finished, with the edits to go through and write it out and you can override an existing one or you can give it a totally different name. You might use revision two so you don't write over the original map file. Now we'll save that.